Here we go, this is Alex. Um, Alex is from uh, an, an online flower reseller um, that's doing pretty well, a local, uh, local success story. And we've got three people from uh, this particular business. Alex is going to be looking more at the, uh, the corporate side and more the sort of strategic direction of the, of, of the business. And we're, we're going to meet the other two people a little bit later on. But Alex, uh, um, give us your impressive job style, assuming it's still impressive. And, uh, um, where were you at the start of this course and uh, you know, what were your objectives on, on starting the course? Well, I'm uh, Head of Business Services and um, I look after all the corporate accounts for sending flowers to businesses, clients and employees and that kind of thing. Uh, I came on the course because I just had pretty much no idea about e-marketing at all. And, um, <coughs> yeah, and then I wanted to start using pay-per-click to drive people to my um, corporate webpage. Right. Okay. So, in terms of pay per click, you are using that as a business already. Already, it's quite yeah. A, it's quite a large proportion of the business currently. Like, yeah, with the um, consumer side of things, but for the business side, it's quite a new thing, and we've only just started using it, and I haven't really been able to kind of um, make it my own and take it forward. Okay. Like. So, the pay per click side is important to the business, but that's kind of owned elsewhere in the business. Yeah, that's right. It's about seventy-five percent of the consumer side, but it's probably only about. 10% of the um, corporate side of the Right, way. so uh, have you been in the corporate side since it's set up? Since yeah, that's right. It's quite a new department, really. Right, so how have you been finding, how have you been generating your sort of leads? Um, most of the leads site? at the moment come from um, search engines, um, people just searching for corporate flowers, that kind of thing, finding us on Google. Right. And is there, is, how many people are searching for corporate flowers? It's quite, a, quite um, an unusual thing to connect yeah. flowers with. Well, that's one, of the first thing, isn't it? that's one of the first things I implemented on the course was um, I changed the key phrase that I was centering everything around from business flowers to corporate flowers because right. there was about 20 times more people searching for corporate right. flowers than business flowers. So okay. And how, how did, how did you find that out then? Um, on uh, Google AdWords, where, right. you can, where you can see the traffic levels for the amount of people searching for various phrases. Okay, so early on you were validating the key phrase that you're going to kind of yeah. build the whole thing around. Excellent. Okay, so you explored different uh, different sort of options on that, and you came out with corporate flowers. Roughly, kind of what, what kind of traffic is there in the UK for that phrase? Uh, there's twenty two thousand um, right. searches, around twenty two thousand searches a year. Right. Okay. And uh, unlike, I suppose the the sort of B, uh, the B two C side of stuff, if you do land a corporate client, it's likely to be quite a lot higher. Yes, yeah, a lot of higher value, value orders. Business. Whereas the average order on the consumer side is about twenty pounds, but on the um, corporate side, it's about it's approaching six hundred pounds, so it's right. a lot higher order is that per year. Per year, uh, per year yeah, right. the average yeah. order. So is that almost a separate business for um, for um, your your business? Yeah, that's right. We've got a separate page on the website for it, and it's a very different type of client. So. Okay, so tell me through what what the page kind of uh, currently looks like then, and, and, and where you. And this is what the, the page currently looks like. Um, I've tried to make it quite scannable by um, using bullet points so people can just kind of scan through it because people don't have time to read kind of huge chunks of text usually. So you see all the benefits in the, on the bullet points and then there's a short introduction and then it goes into the bullet points and then um, at the end there's a kind of call to action where people can okay, make, make, a, make an inquiry. So in, in, in terms of the sort of persuasive content right inside of, of, of what we covered then, has there been anything that, that either stands out for you or you think, yeah, I can apply that, be it a persuasion sort of vehicle or, or one of the sort of yeah, well, the, classic um, methods? Yeah, well, the is five cues where you know, say, what's the problem? Maybe they're not retaining customers enough yeah. or the employees are low morale. So um, then you go on to why hasn't it been solved? And then um, what's possible? You can say, send flowers to your customers to um, increase retention or send yeah. flowers to your employees to make them feel more wanted by you and improve morale. Excellent. So um, it's potentially quite a low, a low cost item for, 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 yeah, the, for the retention that So you can achieve. equate that and kind of say for the cost of less than a meal, taking your customer out for a meal, you can send them some flowers and then um, you can kind of potentially keep hold of a client yeah. and, and um, keep hold of them and not lose maybe customer worth thousands of pounds. Okay, so is that, that kind of customer delight or you know, yeah. that sort of stuff? Have you got any figures then about any case study material that you're going to include saying, you know, like if you use this and invest yeah, this well in a year, you can... So that's what I'm going to continue on to do. I've got some examples of who uses us, yeah. which gives us more credibility because earlier in the sense, Brighton and some quite big companies that 
gives us a bit more credibility, but I'm going to go on to actually have case study pages where there's a full story of how the users' percentages and numbers of how it's improved their, um, their performance. Okay, yeah, so it's that, that, that Veloso 5Q, what's the problem? Yeah, that's, the, that, that's the case that you've got to make, isn't it? Because not everybody would, would realise there is this way of incentivising things yeah. or, or dealing with problems. Um, yeah. So you, you've got Maria Veloso's 5Q, are there any other sort of particular sort of persuasion methods which sort of stood out or you thought yeah, well, you at the, use that? At the moment we've got a few images on the uh, corporate page but we, we're not using the sweet spot below the, below the images so that's something we're going to um, implement. So, so this, this, was, this was led by eye tracker then? Yeah, that's right. And, and what what sort of phenomena did you notice that which has sort of led you to believe there's a there's a sweet spot there? Um, so from the research we did, when, from the what we went through with you, um, you saw that people actually were attracted to pictures, especially including people. So that's why we have people, actual people in the images here. And then people yeah. actually more often than not read what the text below the picture as well. So that's something we want to take advantage of. Right, so there could be a kind of a compelling uh, there yeah, call to action or a link to another part of the page. Or Very stuff. Take me back to this paper click stuff then, and, and, and I'm interested in your in your paper clip maths because the the business itself um, from the stats you went through does in, incredibly well out of its paper clip. You just yeah. seem really on the money with, with that sort of stuff. I realise you're not the main PPC man at this point, yeah. but are you sort of gained grips with, with PPC and, and the maths behind it and how it might work? Well, yeah, well, like I said earlier, there's um, 22 searches, 22,000 searches for corporate flowers a year, and then it's going to be an average, which is we're looking at the torso of the uh, long-tailed graph yeah. here, because it's, it's, not, it's not very niche, but it's not very kind of um, it's not broad, too phrase, broad as well, yeah. so we're looking at the torso here. Um, but an, aver an average of one pound per click, I imagine we'd get about one percent click through, which which would be two hundred twenty clicks a year. Yeah. And then using a budget of two hundred twenty pounds because we'd use the budget to, to soak up all those clicks. And then uh, with twenty two sorry, ten percent conversion that would make twenty two inquiries and then it's quite a high conversion on the corporate side because right. um more often than not they'll um once they get in contact, one in at least one in four actually um right, goes that's, one that's, that's no quite high account. isn't it? So yeah, so the cost per order is we're looking at is about forty four pounds and the average gross gross profit is two hundred and fifty pounds, so that's eighteen percent of gross margin, so it's so you'd expect slow. that business. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I probably there's probably even scope to go higher on the cost per check as well, but Yeah, I mean looking at that mass there, comparing it to elsewhere in your business where you know you're getting you're peaking out click throughs of fifteen percent. I mean yeah. I, I would imagine you, you know, you, you'd instantly be doing better clicks if you just wrote as a team and, and involved yeah. the same kind of people who put the last ones together. In which case, obviously, what, what's going to happen to your average click price if you um, get your click right through? Oh, uh, that go down. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you, you, you've, these are quite sort of conservative metrics, really, aren't they? So yeah. any any movement positive on on those. So some of the couple of years are more almost like worst case scenario. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, expert. I mean you. You, you put that click rate up up to seven or eight percent, and this is much much more looking like 160 inquiries, or something. Yeah. and that's just from one key phrase. You know, I presume you're going to cluster around others. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it might actually be a really good way of, of growing that side of the business. Yeah.